Some claim that having an intelligent home automates all of your controls. However, won't you also have a lovely control panel to operate your house manually? Look at the top 5 incredible home assistant dashboards and control panels. One essential part of a smart home is the dashboard, which relates to how you use gadgets, obtain information, and most importantly, manage your smart home. Users can quickly, efficiently, and effectively manage their homes using Home Assistant dashboards on their smartphones and desktop computers. You may easily add more instances of Home Assistant dashboards to your instance by creating custom cards on top of the platform. Let's look at the top 5 Home Assistant dashboards you'll love to try. Before we begin, do not forget to up your access to our videos by subscribing to our channel. To begin with, number 5. Dwayne's Dashboard Dwayne's Dashboard has excellent instructions and is simple to set up. It is a beginner-friendly dashboard that works with all screen sizes, including those on mobile devices, tablets, and desktop computers, allowing you to control your smart home from any device rather than having separate dashboards for each one. It is also available in dark, light, and any HA theme. Without altering the theme's core code, Dwayne's dashboard add-ins allow you to expand the theme's functionality. In this manner, you can always add your views and cards while seamlessly updating to the most recent version. With this dashboard, you can give rooms your functionality by using the room sat on. You can add a button on a room page that leads to a unique page. You may still add your pages to Dwayne's dashboard with the more page add, and you can even place them in the main navbar. Let's imagine you want an additional page with cards or a page with stats. The solution is to add extra page add-ons. Using the person add-on, you can add your own cards to a person page. Like a map, the distance traveled to work or home. With the house information add you can add your own cards to the global house information page, such as a calendar, the distance to work or home, etc. Using pop-up extensions, you can add your cards to an entity's pop-up. For instance, if you click on the switch for the dishwasher, you will also see the dishwasher's power consumption. Although Dwayne's allows you to expand functionality, Swax prioritizes your local autonomy and privacy. This will be discussed shortly. Number 4. HomeKit Infused With HomeKit Infused Dashboard, your Home Assistant Dashboard will be transformed into a gorgeous HomeKit-style variant with a header, giving your dashboard a more tablet or phone app-like appearance. A fundamental understanding of why ANL is advised because HomeKit Infused is a YANL style dashboard. However, if you adhere to the instructions and watch the instructional videos, HomeKit Infused does not replace any of your current dashboards. As a result, you can install HKI without worrying that any of your existing dashboards will be lost. Together with other dashboards, HomeKit Infused is a valuable tool. Moreover, it has a lovely header with adjustable notifications applied to each view a navigation bar, and an automatically generated menu. Simply setting a view's name, title, and icon may also quickly build new views. That is incredible! <laughs> Number 3. Swakes Dashboard Beginners and experienced users alike can utilize Swakes. You receive a useful dashboard with various elements, add-ons, and Home Assistant integrations to monitor and control your home even better. This dashboard uses currently installed IoT devices and adds additional features and capabilities. It has specific categories like light and security. A bonus is that it also has a binging dark mode. Sam Wakes created the artwork. Selectable categories like lights or security and then being able to select rooms within that category for a focused view on the room. Being dark mode too is also a really nice bonus. This is a similar design to the HomeKit inspired one in that it's kind of a dump of Sam's config and you kind of need to make it work for your own entities and devices. So probably for the more advanced user, but once you've done that, you will again have a really nice sleek looking dashboard. Number four is another beginner dashboard. Details and statistics for Home Assistant itself are displayed in the first column of the system dashboard. The first element displays the last successful login version and HA uptime. Local autonomy and privacy are foremost for Swakes. Less time is spent troubleshooting, and more time is spent building with Swakes, 
which also features Sonorlint in your IDE and software alternatives and reviews. Swakes may be beginner-friendly and easy to set up, but the minimalist brings you even more. Let's discuss this layer. Number 2. Transaction Dashboard The Transaction Overview Dashboard includes a graph of the uptime and performance and a log of recent checks in addition to the current state. Your transaction monitors in development mode are not mentioned in any detail. Susan Tucker says, as we evolve, our homes should too. The account state tile in the transaction dashboard shows you the current status of your transaction monitors in both staging and production mode. You may instantly enable and disable your monitors from this table and toggle on and off alerts for your production mode transactions. Number 1. Minimalist Dashboard the Minimalist Dashboard is frequently referred to as a theme since it employs techniques that are distinctive to themes, but it employs so much more than just themes. The use of a theme and effective use of the template function from the unique component button card created by ROMRADER are two requirements for this dashboard. Based on the fantastic work created by Seven Ahang on Behance, he then created this dashboard for his use with Home Assistant. But given how awesome and attractive this dashboard is for Home Assistant, it immediately became apparent that some organizational work would need to be done to allow others to use it. Cool! Now that you've seen these dashboards, you'll be wondering which add-ins you should work with. Well, stop wondering and watch our video on your smart home will look futuristic with these five home assisted add-ons and integration. See you in our next video!